So in the last live stream that I did, some people had asked me to do a story time, and uh, since I'm down here at Travis's place, I figured I'd do one today. Now, I'm about to take you guys for a trip through the past. So I wanted to give you guys a bit of a history lesson today. Now, I'm standing in the barn down at Travis's place. This farm, British, is the first farm that Grandpa had bought uh, back in the 50s of the current farms that we have now. Um, this is our largest farm, and I believe you bought it for like 15000 back then. But um, this was where I was raised on this farm, and I have a couple of memories from this barn. I want to just share a couple of them with you, because a couple of people had asked me to do a story time. So here we go. Um, one of my first memories of this barn was, I can, I can remember this barn being full of straw and hay. Uh, back, in, back at the time, um, we were cleaning out the floor, and Travis was throwing down straw downstairs, even though mom and dad had been done milking here for a while. Um, I think mom and dad quit milking here in the late 80s, early 90s. And since then, the barn has just kind of been vacated. It's been used for a couple things here and there, but for the most part, it's remained empty. Now, Travis, he's being a little bit older than me, um, was throwing down straw, um, down below and there was a huge pile of straw down there and he had i don't know if he was up here at the time or if he was down there but i was not paying attention to what i was doing like i should have been and i accidentally fell down the hole because it was uncovered because he had been throwing the straw down and it was covered up with loose straw so it was hard to see and i remember just crying my eyes out and mom came running in from the milk house and asking are you okay are you okay but yeah I, Turned out I was okay because of the huge pile of straw. Um, it's just one of the things that I remember, one of those things that scar you for life. But surprisingly, I'm not really that afraid of heights. Maybe it's because I've had experience with it. Um, there's another door like that on the far side. I think there's only two. But this barn is old. Um, as you can see, if you look at the walls over there, you can see how the barn used to be. It used to be just like your old, regular old barn. Um, it was added on at what time, I'm not really sure, but the walls were extended out on each side. And you can tell where the old barn used to be because the walls are spaced differently and there's gaps in there. Now, over here, there's another door, door against this wall for the cows underneath that were on this side just to make it easier so that you weren't carrying bales over from this side over there. Um, you can tell there's this little hook here to hang it on. And Travis is outside with the four-wheeler. Um, that door, you lift it up and you can hang it there and then you just toss the bales over and they're easier to access rather than throwing them down over there and carrying them back over here. So, this floor is still kind of iffy. There's, like right here is okay, but I think there's a spot over there where the rain had been leaking through the roof for a while. Um, and it's kind of sketchy over there. But if we look over here, there's a small barnyard right outside the barn. There's an additional lean-to over there, and Dad said that the milking equipment used to go over there, so he'd have to milk additional cows on that side. But there used to be a hay feeder right here, and when we were raising calves in here, there was still a feeder right there. So that's, this is still kind of fresh in my mind. Um, we were throwing hay down over here and it was really easy just to dump the bales because you could cut them right here and just kick them down and it made it really easy so this is the small barnyard now over here these have been here for as long as i can remember i think they're like for welding um dad had brought them up from his college i think he told me one time i can't really remember but I'm pretty sure they're like welding units to close yourself in. Um, like I said, not real sure. Um, grandma pa passed due to Alzheimer's and she was, they, they lived long, prosperous lives. And I mean, we really miss them. Um, one of the things that I remember about grandma, just for the how, how hard of a hard working, how much of a hard working woman my grandmother was. Now, if you look over at the straw, we had a little bit of an abundance of it in 2012, so we brought it down from an upper farm 
from the upper farm and we had just dumped it in here because we figured you know just dump it in here we're we don't really use this hay mile for much anymore anyway might as well just dump it in and then use it for whatever bottle calves we might raise downstairs or whatever else it's just nice to have an abundance of straw so we we brought the wagon loads down and we just started dumping them in we backed the conveyor up through the door up there and the door fell off that a long time ago um, but we were just dumping them in we were just throwing them out as fast as we could and after a while we were like where's grandma we haven't seen her in a while and sure enough we looked through the door and here she was walking back and forth carrying straw bales and stacking them up over here in this corner all these bales were stacked because of grandma and this is just a remainder of the stack that she had going it was probably stacked up to here at the time <laughs> and um, that's just one of those things that you remember or that I'll always remember about grandma is just how she set an example for her. you don't really have to have strength it's about perseverance because she was this tiny woman and she was an elderly woman so she stacked a pretty big pile of bales all by herself meanwhile we were just dumping the bales in on her and i i just that's one of those things that i just it blows my mind just thinking about grandma because just the fact that for the stuff that she had done that i've seen her do for the size she was i mean she did some pretty incredible things and um that's just one of the things that i'll always remember about her so i just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a history lesson about this barn i don't think i've done anything up in here yet um this is the farm where i was raised so earliest memories happened here and we don't really use it for much anymore it's just kind of one of those buildings that is sitting sitting quietly so anyway i hope you guys enjoyed this little bit of a history lesson be sure to check out all of our other videos be sure to like comment and subscribe uh, be sure to check us out on facebook instagram twitter and snapchat all how farms work and i'll see you next time